Hey guys, it's your girl Just B, and I thought it would be really fun to do a get ready with me video as we talk about the VMAs. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to add is this face primer that I got from LA Colors. Is it LA Colors? Yeah. LA Colors. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be clear, but it's going to come out white on me. Um, it minimizes the pores, and it works really well. Like, the first time I used it, I was just trying my makeup on. And I was like, I'm going to try this. And the way it come out on me, I was like, oh, hell no. But it ended up working out. So, while I'm doing this, let's go ahead and get into the cameras. So, I didn't really watch the whole thing. I kind of watched bits and pieces. And then I seen, obviously, the highlights on YouTube today. I thought Chloe and Holly did amazing. They never disappoint. They have been the most consistent performers just in the new upcoming artist period. being consistent performers period you know I remember and this is no shade but I remember when Nicki Minaj was having such a hard time getting her performances together like Nikki had a struggle for a cool minute. So as you can see, I come out looking like Casper, the friendly glows. Go ahead, rub it in, and I'm just gonna look ashy. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of my NYX um, Stay Matte Foundation. Ooh, girl, how that happened. As you can see, I use it. <laughs> And I just sprayed my sponge with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. So, this is just to add a little color to myself. But I'm still gonna look crazy. Um, yeah, I thought that, first of all, Chloe and Holly, they serve us nothing but looks, vocals, talent, class. I love them. Every performance they have, to me, like I said, it's been consistent. It's been amazing. Um, the creativity has been there. I mean, but we expect nothing less from these little Beyonce's. to see them actually win something <laughs> um the next person i want to talk about was the baby someone said how many times do we gotta see this nigga in the back of a police car listen are down for the, the cause, right? We're down for the cause. We understand what we're fighting for after that. But, baby, we need break. We need a break, okay? We can't keep... You giving me PTSD at this point, okay? Like, you need to calm the hell down. <laughs> so, yeah. The baby's performance was okay. Um, Let's go ahead and get these eyebrows in. So, I have, I believe it's Wet and Wild. This is my favorite. I use it for my eyebrow and my lip. So, I'll go ahead, I'll outline my eyebrow. Starting with the bottom. My eyebrows are short, so I always have to make them longer. This part doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is just the outline. 
So if it's messy, it's okay. You just want to make sure you get the overall feeling and the overall shape of what you want your eyebrows to look like. Okay, but yeah, okay, other than the baby, who else performs? Um, Lady Gaga. Do you know, there's some people, I remember growing up, and it was like a point in time where everybody hated Beyonce, right? And they'd be like, oh, she's good, but she ain't all that. And they'd be like, why you hating on B like that? You know what I'm saying? And I'd be like, the one thing that I can say that nobody could ever argue with would be like, but she works her ass off. Yeah, I give her that. She's a good performer. She works really hard. And that's how I felt about Lady Gaga. Like, regardless of if I really liked her songs or not, I can't deny that Sis obviously worked her ass off for that performance. So for that, here we go, Sis. Um, I loved her creativity. It's just the songs weren't really necessarily my, you know, cup of tea. But like I said, she worked really hard, and I appreciate that. Um, and Ariana Grande came out, girl, serving sass, vocals, and pigtails. You fuck it up, sis, okay? So to them together, like I said, Lady Donna did amazing. She been in the game for a long time, but I didn't know any of her songs, so I couldn't really get into it. I couldn't get excited. You know, Stupid Love I had heard once, but even when I heard Stupid Love when she put out the video, I wasn't really too... It wasn't no bad romance, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hi. So I'm going to use LA Girl um, Color Concealer Toffee. This is my concealer brush. Don't ask me where it's from, girl. Don't even have a name on it. I think it came with a palette. But I like to... Uh, Uh, but BTSD, <laughs> BTST, BTS, BTS, right? But, um, I feel like you cannot tell me, baby, that they inspiration was not black people. You cannot tell me that because that's all, it was just a water, like to me. I hope nobody gets super offended, but to me, it reminded me of like, do you remember Cadillac Records? Better than that, I used Dream Girls. And they put out a song, and then you have white people come out with like a watered down version of that song, and everybody would act like it was original, it was brand new. Hint Elvis. I think I'm gonna have to go watch one of their music videos and maybe see them in a different light. But another person who just had me side eye them, who wasn't even at the VMAs, to my knowledge, was Adele. Now, I don't understand what we are witnessing here. Did y'all see that shit? I think the problem, the problem more so is, it's like, a lot of black people feel like, even when they have like white friends, like, it's cool to come over here and kick it with the black people and talk about this and that and, and, and wear braids and cornrows and all this shit and oh they make good music oh they can cook oh, oh no we're gonna dance we're gonna have a good old time at the cookout and then when real issues come around motherfuckers be silent i think that just be the issue and i'm not saying that adele hasn't spoke up about stuff honestly i personally don't know i ain't never looked into it i wouldn't be surprised if she hasn't and i wouldn't be surprised if she has at this point, uh, celebrities, honey, they've been looking at clowns all 2020, especially start March. <laughs> Alright, so now that I still look a hot mess, I'm gonna go back in and put some powder around. Oh, y'all, look what I done did. The same brush that I used to just spread the product, I'm gonna just put that right here. You know what? Before I even do anything else, two things that I need to do. I don't know if you can see, but there's a separation between where my hair is and the pencil. So what I like to do is just so you can't tell at all, is just come in with this black eyeliner and just do a few strokes. Just a few 
strokes to help blend, but just more so towards the tip in the middle. I just found out that that just works for me. I love this. So I got this e.l.f. I guess um, eyebrow wax pencil. I got. I just started using this. This is amazing. My eyebrows look sludgy all day long. And they stay put. I love it. <laughs> so now that I have that on, I'm gonna just go ahead with my powder. Do what I was doing before. So I got um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Um, I got it in color Mocha 360. This is my shade. I tried the golden one and some other colors, but this one is just my exact, a good match. I won't say exact match, but it's a really good match. So I just go ahead and I put on my foundation on my face. The back of your hand, pour it on the back of your hand, warm it up, and then put it on. But I used to forget. And so I go to touch something, put on my outfit, and have foundation on everything. So it just wasn't working out for me, honey. I said, uh-uh. And then I seen Jackie Ina do it. And I was like, oh, that is so smart. I'm going to do that. And I've been doing it ever since. And it just works out for me. I just ordered my Jackie Ina palette. Wait to wear wigglies, girl. I really have fallen in love with Jackie over the years. And I think that she's really dope. And amazing. And definitely open the doors up for your girls. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate Jackie. I know I do. Can't speak for y'all. But Jackie, my cousin. Let's talk about the weekend performance. Y'all, the weekend and this whole beat up look that he got going on, I know that he had it for one of his videos. I'm assuming the video was probably, what was it called? Blind Side? Bright Lights? I don't know what the song was called that he performed. But um, I, I'm not a really big weekend fan at all. And I'm like, really? confused on the whole beat up look thing i think that um right now with the rumor going around that usher beat his ass i just felt like how much is this makeup you know what i'm saying like can we see what you look like real quick to see if you really got beat up how you know everybody's saying you got beat up like beefing with Usher for a cool minute it's a stupid ass beef no shade no tea but he really coming for Usher and he sounds crazy talking about oh first of all him talking about himself in third person was already creepy enough talking about oh when he heard the song climax by Usher he heard it and he was like oh that's a weekend song nigga and then I think the producer came out and was like, him and Usher wrote that song and X my time. They had a whole story behind it. So it really was like, The Weeknd literally had nothing to do with that song at all. But he felt like because he sings falsettos, that Usher was trying to copy his like falsetto sound doing the song Climax. And he felt like it seemed so much like a Weeknd song. It, to me, came off like the weekend. Did you want that song, bro? Did you feel like, oh, damn, that could have been my song? Did you turn the song down? Because what you're saying just ain't making sense. And baby, don't come for Usher. Baby, don't come for Usher. Don't. I just had to tell Chris just, what, two weeks ago, we Usher alone. Kiki Palmer did her thing.
Kiki. I got your little edge jokes about 2020, girl. I understand. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Sephora palette. My fave. Like I said, I just ordered my Jackie Ina palette. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm just gonna use this color right here. You can see it. My brush, my Sephora brush. And I just went in. And I already then did it. But I'm just gonna make this a super, super simple look. Nothing too dramatic. Hmm. I'm trying to debate do I want to use this color or this color? Huh. How about we just do a little inner? Call it a good day. That's it. We're just gonna do this right now. And call it a good day. My LA Colors Concealer. I'm not like a big makeup junkie. I'm just doing this video in case anybody ever asks down the line. Like, hey, do you have a makeup routine or how you do makeup? I'm like, yes, yeah, sis. I got that one video. <laughs> Because I'm not like amazing at makeup, but I've been doing it for a little bit, so I do have my own personal routine. <clears throat> that may be not correct, but that's how I put my boat. Um, am I the only one who was like mad confused on how the fuck the weekend won a uh, best RB? I remember when the weekend first came out. Well, when I heard the weekend for the first time, which was Loving the Crew with Drake. And that's when I was like, oh yeah, I like him. Then he sounded a little bit R&B. But what he make now, that shit is not R&B. And I just feel like you can't just see a black person and then just say, oh, R&B. Like, no, just how they did Tyler the Creator. Like, bro, people make different genres of music. Like, the hell? What is going on here? But I don't expect, you know, I felt like they just let Kiki... Palmer host to shut us up a little bit, uh, you know, sprinkle a few niggas in there like the baby and call it a good day. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like real change, obviously it's evident that that's not really what they're about. They want to put Normani in the urban R&B category so bad, and she just want to do pop so bad. And I just kind of personally, I'm an R&B head, I'm an R&B fan, so of course, you know, I'm like, sis, do your R&B, but I feel like just how people are able to date and fall in love with who they want to fall in love with, people's dreams and passion can be whatever. Who are you to tell somebody, you know what I'm saying? Just crazy. So now I'm going to use my Fit Me 332 Golden Caramel. It'll bring a little bit more life. I'm only gonna do it for a little bit because I y'all I be putting so much under my eyes crazy. But when I tell y'all my make it's been so hot. It's been so hot out here, but my makeup really have been lasting. Like a lot. So I'm really happy about that. Time to conceal or whatever. So here's my palette. Um I'm not gonna add any blush today. But the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, you know, do this brown. It got a little glitter in it. I don't know if you can see it. But this one is my favorite. I don't know what I'm gonna do when this palette run out, y'all. And the brown is already running out, so I need to find me a replacement. Like I said, like none of my makeup is like really fancy and expensive, but. It get the job done, and because it gets the job done, it just never motivated me to go and buy more expensive makeup. Like, I remember, you know, doing the MAC foundation and stuff, and it just was a lot. It was a lot. You know, you add in the cost of your hair, your nails, your feet, all that shit. I could, no, uh and then you gotta pay all this money for your makeup, too? Girl, I ain't got it like that. <laughs> I don't got it like that, sis. So, I see, there's certain products that I get from the Dollar Tree. This I think I got from like 
somebody's little like boutique or something like a like a basic or pretty in pink i don't remember but uh this nyx all my nyx products i got from beauty supply obviously my 30 second glue my fit me i got from target so a few of my brushes i got from target but yeah honey dollar tree oh you know what this could have been ross i think this is ross dollar tree ross you know i used to go to macy's I was wearing Beneful for a while too. I really liked it that one, but the the foundation would be in like a solid thing with a pump, and you just never could get all of it out, and you don't know when it's running low. So it was like playing Russian roulette with your <laughs> foundation. You don't know when the last time. So I did my underliner with my. Girl, I don't know somebody black eyeliner that I bought Sam's Beauty. Now I got my elf, so I can go on top and then I'll do the marker one after that. But let's go ahead and talk about Miss Doja Cat. Um, she did good. I actually enjoyed Doja's performance. She wasn't boring. Like to me, this is no shade to the weekend. But his performance was boring to me. Like, I'm not looking for nobody to give me a music video. We looking for a fake live performance, okay, dog? Like, <laughs> Doja Cat, I really like how she did say so. And she switched up the beat, but it made it really interesting. Um, when they was hiding her, I thought we was going to get a change of scenery or something. And she came back looking at the sun. I don't know why they was hiding her, but maybe she needs to get a drink of water. Oh, uh, one thing I want to say about Doja Cat that I noticed. Uh, sis got vocals. Doja got vocals. Doja do got some vocals. But when I really noticed is I was listening to Rules. And how she in that, I was like, oh, okay, Doja. I mean, sis, I mean, we all remember the last time we seen Doja what the hell she was doing. girls make it seem like oh you know because they have these perfect bodies like men are all over them like girl no like Beyonce still got cheated on since Beyonce look at Kim Kardashian look who you married sis look who you married yeah you got coin but you have a peace of mind this is my elf um, marker and I like to go with this one normally like if I'm really trying to do a perfect sexy look I will go over one more time with my black pencil to me there's something about black eyeliner pencil that just looks so good and just clean and what we about to do is draw on these lips With the same pencil for my eyebrows. I really like um, NYX Espresso for the lips. I like it too. So now we're just gonna go ahead and I got some eyelashes from Dollar Tree. I know y'all probably like, girl, you can not air that Dollar Tree. But, <laughs> I'm not going nowhere today. So I want to use my good eyelashes. You know what I'm saying? I have a light eyelashes with mascara on. Oh, we over here rambling. I don't know you probably think it. Like, I don't know for some reason, my makeup still be looking crazy until I put on the eyelashes. That's why I, ugh, I just hate when I see girls and they do like a whole face of makeup with no eyelashes. It is so noticeable to me. Especially if you don't really have none, girl, mascara ain't gonna help. Um, yeah, the crazy part is mama didn't have a boyfriend and some more shit. But, to me, I feel like the tiny chat was just something she was doing before. But like I said, it's like, you be thinking like pretty girls have like so many boyfriends and so many guys. And sometimes pretty girls be so lonely. Like, everybody just assumes. Everybody has assumptions about people and it's so aggravating. 
Like, people have assumptions about me, and it's really aggravating, especially when it's not accurate. Like, no one's perfect. No one. Shit. I ain't even trying to But some people, they don't accept your flaws as flaws. You know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, that's not really nothing. It got to be more to that person. It's like, why? Why got to be more to me? Just because you do some fucked up shit. <laughs> don't mean I'm like, you the fuck? And I use 30 second pro. Pro style. Um, slime pro. If you a real one. Oh, you know what? Black China had pissed me off one time when she. Oh, I hate people sometimes. <clears throat> Sorry, this is what I use. Hair glue. Black China gonna get on TV and they gonna say, what is the most embarrassing thing or the most embarrassing makeup hack that I used to do? And she was like, I used to be really ratchet and put hair glue on my eyelashes. Bitch, you know, we still do that. Like, you need to quit it. You need to fucking quit it. Quit it. What is the point of going to go buy separate eyelash glue if you already got track glue? Please tell me. Please tell me. You done made it so far and you just doing so good for yourself. You were the same bitch that was just selling skin bleaching cream. And my whole purpose is to try to get some color. Some warmth in here. So now I got my warmth in here. Right? I'm really washed out. Really powdery. Go ahead with my foundation brush and blend out whatever I want to be blended out. Shout out to Meg for winning her award, popping her bottle. This is my makeup for today, y'all. I just braided my hair up so when I brush it out, when I'm about to leave, it'll be all rest to go. I hope that this was cool and fun. I have fun talking to y'all. L, L, L. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. So this I got from these. I don't know the name, I don't know, but it's so hard for a black girl to find a good news. Baby, I love it. I love this. This is my favorite new. I hope I'm not like too. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, it's been real, y'all. I love y'all like always. I will probably be back some point today. Well, y'all won't know, but I'll be uploading my big and stallion tour names video. Only reason I feel like I need to do a separate was it's so much that's happened with Megan. Cardi and Tori and everything are surrounding it that it just need its own separate video and a lot of it ties in with each other you know what I mean so um definitely we have to make a whole separate video about that but nevertheless I love y'all and if nobody told y'all today I love you okay have a blessed and beautiful wonderful day see y'all later Mwah.